Hi and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through another Winnebago Bolt. This is a 2020 model. I haven't done a Bolt in a while so I've had a couple requests. I do still have a couple of these available on the lot. So I kind of want to go through this unit for you. This is stock number 5N200 473. This has 188 horsepower Mercedes turbo diesel. Um, it's on a Sprinter chassis. So this is a really good unit. Um, Mercedes have been doing the Sprinters for a long time. They've been really successful uh, with the Bolt, the Revel, uh, their Navion. So it's something that they've been doing a long time. It's a really good coach, really easy to operate. Uh, this Bolt is actually made to dry camp. It's got a 3600 watt inverter. You've got a huge lithium battery pack in it. It's basically uh, like you're plugged into 30 amp power when you have the system on. So I'm gonna go over that with you here shortly. I know I've shown this before, but it does have your step up front. This is so you can climb up here, wash your windows, do whatever you have to do. Uh, you don't have to carry a stool. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood open so we can get under the hood. So as you can see, everything's really easy to get to here. If you happen to leave your lights on, you kill your batteries, this is where you would hook up your positive terminal. Here's your windshield wiper fluid here. Under here, if you can kind of show back in here, that's where you would plug it. This is where you would connect your ground cable if you're having to jump your, your van here, okay? So again, lots of room up here, easy to access. Your oil, your coolant, here's your DEF. Of course, I can't forget the ever popular flux capacitor there in the middle. Uh, they changed this, hinge, this, this stand here, they actually changed this uh, from a couple years ago. And so before it had where it would automatically lock and people would get in the habit of just pulling down on it. So you have to be careful because now it's not that system. So you have to make sure and put it up here. If you leave it there and pull down, you're gonna bend that rod. It's gonna give you a headache. Coming around the front here, so you can see we still have the aluminum Alcoa wheels. These are 16 inch wheels and the tires are 215.85s. And then we'll kind of just work our way back. You can see the running boards uh, are really wide. They're long and wide, so you could actually sit down here under the under the awning if you don't want to pull carry chairs with you. If you don't have a, if you have limited capacity, depending on how much stuff you store or how much how many people are with you. They are lit. They do have lights on the running boards and also your leash holders there. I've got the awning out, it's a 13 foot awning. It does have LED lights on it, which I'll turn on. So again, it's a 13 foot awning. It does have a wind sensor over on this side. So if it gets really windy, it starts to shake, it'll automatically retract. So you don't have to worry about going fishing and then coming back and your awning's laid over the top of your van. I've heard stories about that happening, so this will help you out. And we're gonna kind of keep going around the van. On this side here, you've got an external port for your solar. So you can set up an external solar panel. And then here's a cable outlet. So if you happen to be at an RV park and they have cable, you can plug in here. There's a 12 volt outlet and then you have two standard outlets under there. Okay, right here is your black waste tank flush inlet. So that's where you would set up your hose to flush out your blank tank.
So we come around the back. Here's your ladder. And I know I've talked about it in other videos, but you're not supposed to climb on it here. It's got a locking key here. So nobody will steal your ladder. So you want to remove the ladder and then you're going to put it on the side of, of the uh, driver's side over here. You can put it up anywhere up there uh, on the rail up top. You've got your 5,000 pound tow hitch here with 500 pounds of tongue weight capacity and your seven pin connector right here. Again, 5,000 pounds is a lot of weight. Uh, if you're towing a small vehicle, a kayak trailer, or a small jet ski or something. Here's your quick connect for your propane tank. This coach does not use propane, but they do give you a, a propane tank so you can use if you want to set up an outdoor grill. And that would be where you would connect it. On this side, you're going to have your tank fill. So this is where you would hook up your hose to fill up your fresh water tank. And then here's another cable inlet. So you have one on each side. Here's your 30 amp shore power connection. Your bolt does come with a cable with the cord, a 30 amp cord. This is your exhaust for your Truma system which runs your hot water in your furnace. And then here's your city fill inlet. So this is where you would plug in your hose and bypass your fresh water tank and just run off of the city water. Okay. Well, I'm out here, I kind of want to show the windows. I've got them open, I've got the air conditioner running, um, but I want to show something because I've seen some folks just kind of walking around the lot and they start pulling down on these windows. These are dual pane acrylic windows. So if you get one, you have to push up and then it comes down. So that's just something to, to be aware of so you're not damaging your new coach. All right? Once it's there, you push up and then it comes back down. And all of, all of them work the same way. Uh, from out here, you can see I've got a bug screen. Uh, I'll show you from the inside as well, but it's kind of cool to see it from both sides. This does have a bug screen and it also has a nightshade. Under here, you're going to see your propane connection. This is going to be where you fill your propane. And again, you got a small running board, again, with your, your tie down rings. I'll open the driver's side door here so, again, we can see this is where you fuel up. It is a diesel coach, like I said earlier. So make sure you use diesel only. Do not put unleaded or you'll have your hands full and there goes your vacation. Right here's your hood latch release. So it's on the left side there. And then actually while we're here, might as well go over the door controls. So this adjusts your seat, it's a power seat. It's got three memory settings, so you can set your memory settings uh, on each side. This controls your backrest. This controls the seat, so you can go forward, backward, up and down. Now remember, it's on a swivel base, which I'll show you on the other side. So you can only go down so low uh, because of the base. It's not going to let allow you to go down as low as maybe some others will, but um, you do have that benefit of having the swivel. Then on this side, you're just going to have your lights your dash lighting. And now we can work our way inside. Oh. So before we go inside, so I don't forget here, this, it does have a gravity fill for your water. So if you're somewhere and you don't have a hose, you can actually fill with a bottle here. And then here's your winterization valve. So you can use a five gallon bucket of water, a five gallon jug, and you can actually fill there. This does have your bug screen.
It'll have a bug screen on the front and the rear. And then both the front and the rear do have the magnetic tie. So you can walk in and out without having to zip and unzip. Makes it really, really useful. And then rolling it up, everything in about the bolt is just really simple to use. All right, and then as we come in here, I've already swiveled this seat around so I can show you one of the dining areas here. So both of the seats will swivel. Uh, the passenger side's got this little bigger table. It's got a lot of adjustments. It's got a cup, a little cup holder here, basically. You can turn it around. And then you can just store it behind your seat this way while you're in drive. You tighten up all these little different settings here. This table will actually come out of here, out of this big ram mount that we have here, and it'll bolt onto over here. right next to the microwave. So then you can move your whole table here, set it in the middle, and you can have somebody sitting across from you. As far as your driver's side, so this is actually the table for the driver's side. You swivel the seat around, and then you would eat there, and then you have your passenger there. Again, really easy. Um, here's your controls for your awning. So you've got your awning in and out, and you've got your um, LED lighting. I want to show something on the awning, if you'll kind of just zoom in on it for a second. I talk about this regularly, because if you're like me, sometimes you're in a hurry and you might forget to, uh, to bring it in. It's got a safety feature on it so that when you start your coach, it's going to bring in your awnings. I'm going to go ahead and swivel this uh, passenger seat around. I forgot to mention the seats are heated as well. Another nice thing about the coach is you've got outlets everywhere. So right here, you've got a standard outlet. You've got some USB ports there. So if, you've, if you're charging your phone and you're sitting down eating at this table, you can set it there. You can see we've got a, a refrigerator, a Nova Cool fridge. It's a nice size, it's in a good location because you can actually access it without being in between the seats or the bathroom. So it's in a good spot. Got a nice size sink here. And you've got a cover and a, with a built-in cutting board. Induction cooktop. And you've got your microwave. Again, everything in this coach will run off of the lithium batteries and the inverter. I'm running the air conditioner. It's been running now for probably an hour or so. And right here is our Volta system. So you can see that we are still at 90% charge. And that's after running the air conditioner for about an hour. Here's your lights. This is your patio light on the outside. Your running board lights. Let's see. These little baskets come in handy. So these are just, to, you know, you could put spices in there, whatever you want to put in here. Got a few drawers on this side. These buttons, you push those in and it locks, locks them in place so that while you're driving, the drawers aren't opening and closing. Here's one of the heater exhaust vents there. That's where your heat will come out of from your Truma system. And like I said, here's your screen. So these come with the bug screen and with the blackout shade on all the windows. And then again, make sure you push up to latch these dual pane windows. 
plenty of overhead storage. It does have a max fan up here, which is really nice to circulate air. If, if it's not super hot out and you just want to get some fresh air, you can open up your screens and just let the uh, fresh air circulate. I'm going to close these. This is so, folks that are. We've had a lot of people coming in and buying, uh, obviously RVs all over the country lately, uh, just to kind of get away. And uh, one of the biggest factors that sometimes people would go with the larger B van than a smaller one is the fact that they do have more storage. Um, they both kind of have their pros and cons, but if you're looking for more storage, I would suggest something like the Bolt. This compartment here has your HDMI hookup, your cable standard outlet and then again you got USBs and another 12 volt this one comes with the TV so you can set up a DVD player up here whatever you like to watch has a JBL soundbar that is Bluetooth compatible and this is also as you can see on the RAM mount so they make a lot of accessories for these RAM mounts right here I actually have my phone plugged into this little basket I got my keys, my phone, my Bluetooth. My phone was dying, so I had to plug it in. And then here's your tank levels and your battery levels. Batteries are fully charged. And then here's your water pump. So you, you have two uh, pump buttons so you can turn on the water if you're inside or outside. This is your Truma system. And this will run your hot water and your furnace. here and actually I'm gonna step over here so you can kind of get a good view because this is where your tank heater pads are just where you would turn them on and also there's a lot of storage in there so if you're in, in cold temperatures you want to make sure and run your your tank heaters so that your water doesn't freeze we've got two really good sized drawers right here And then while you're right there, there's also storage under here. So right now we have the blackout shades under there for the front windows, but as you can see, you could put linens under there, blankets. Under here, there's also three little cubbies, one, two, and three. Let's see if you can get that under there. So it's not a ton, but every little bit of storage helps. And as you can see, we got two seat belts back here, so you can, you can have two more passengers with you. And then the bed will connect. Um, let me actually do it from this side here. All right, so basically you're gonna pull your beds together and you can do it a couple of ways. You can move one this way and then put your cushions on the other side. So you have one big bed on this side, basically, if you just fill these holes in. There we go. As you can see, they fit pretty snug. So I'll let you show that right here on this end, just so I don't have to climb over the side to do the other side. But so it gives you a really good sized bed here, and then a small one here. And then you just take these back out. Slide this over. And put these back up. So again, it's not super difficult to do. Um, you can use it as two twins, basically, if you want. And then I'm gonna go around the back so you can show the shower area through the inside there. All right, so as you can see, this, um, this is a B, uh, the KL floor plan. So this is gonna give you the bathroom in the back. 
Nice thing about this versus some of the others, it doesn't have the, the porta potty. This is an actual ceramic toilet. It does have a black tank. And then here is your, basically a nice little closet. Let you figure out how to get in there. And then these mats, let me get these mats out of the way. So you can hang your clothes up there. You can use it for storage. There is a curtain rod that goes up along the top there that kind of protects this, the closet door. Okay. And then right here on the back, so you've got your outdoor shower right here, hot and cold water. Comes with one hose, an adjustable shelf. Here's again the water pump you can turn on back here. This is gonna run your porch lights on this other side, USBs, 12 volt, and then another standard outlet. Has a cover for this. And you can see it does have a backup camera. And there's the, the, rear, the rear light there. So the Bolt again, it's a really good option. Um, if you're looking for something that you can dry camp with that has more storage than some of the others, this is a really good option. It's basically 23 foot in length and just under 10 foot in height. Uh, you're gonna have a 21 gallon fresh water, fresh water tank. It does have the rooftop AC. I mean, this is gonna have everything that you want. If you have any additional questions on this unit or any others that you see on our website, please feel free to call me. You can reach me at, uh, on my cell phone, via email, text, whatever works best for you. If you see something on there that doesn't have a video already you would like me to do one or you want me to FaceTime you and walk you through it, please let me know. I can do that on any of our coaches. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720 276 42 41. I'm available pretty much any time. If you call and I uh, don't answer, it's because I'm with another customer. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Please give me any comments, suggestions you guys have. I appreciate it. Have a good day.